items needed for the Eagle Mountain Telescoping Flagpole Assembly. Telescoping Flagpole, Ground Sleeve, Ball Ornament, Solar Light, if ordered, your choice of flag, pole setting compound provided, tape measure, torpedo level, post hole digger or narrow shovel. Select a location for your telescoping flagpole at least three times the fly length of your selected flag from trees, buildings or structures. Ensure there are no utility lines either underground or above ground which may come in contact with your telescoping flagpole. Dig the hole between 9 to 10 inches in diameter and approximately 28 inches in depth. Be sure the hole has vertical side walls so the base and top of the hole are the same diameter. Keep spoils of hole dug nearby to use as finished cover if needed. Place a small amount of pea gravel at the base of the hole. Then set the ground sleeve with arrow pointing up in the hole with a red cap on top. Rotate a bit to embed approximately 1 to 2 inches into the base of the hole. Place a torpedo level on top the red cap of the ground sleeve and level on both planes. Before mixing the pole setting compound, use safety gloves provided. Gently shake the A and B bottle before mixing. Open both A and B bottles and set the B bottle's top cap nearby to close the B bottle. Pour the entire contents of A into B, securely place the top cap onto B and begin to vigorously shake the B bottle for approximately 30 to 40 seconds, while constantly turning and agitating. The contents of the B bottle should be a consistent cream color. The contents must be poured into the hole in the ground immediately. Quickly remove the cap from the B bottle and pour the contents between the outer edge of the ground sleeve and the wall of the hole in the ground. After expending the contents of the B bottle, set the bottle aside and begin checking the plumb of the ground sleeve while the compound begins to activate. Be sure to press down on the ground sleeve to ensure the ground sleeve does not rise with the compound out of the hole. Allow the compound to set for 20 to 30 minutes. When the compound is no longer tacky to the touch, use a small hand saw or carpet knife to cut away any excess compound. Simply discard the excess compound chunks in the trash. Remove the red cap from the top of the ground sleeve and slide the large end of the telescoping flagpole into the ground sleeve until it has set securely into the ground sleeve. Allow the compound to cure 24 hours before installing your flag or multiple flags and raising the telescoping flagpole. If solar flagpole light was ordered, remove the light from the box and test for the instructions included with the solar light. Remove the nut from the ball ornament and discard the nut. Slide the stem of the ornament through the solar light with the solar panels facing toward the ball of the ornament. Screw the stem of the ornament with solar light installed onto the top of the telescoping flagpole and gently finger tighten. Note, if solar light is not being used, simply install the stem of the ornament onto the top of the telescoping flagpole and gently tighten the nut provide onto the telescoping flagpole to secure. After the compound is completely cured, you may now install the flag or flags and raise the flagpole. Raise each section of the telescoping flagpole starting with the top smallest section. When each section is extended, apply upward pressure and twist to the right to lock and secure. Repeat this process with each section until all sections are completely extended. To lower the telescoping flagpole, lift on the second from bottom section and twist left. Then gently allow the section to slide down. Repeat this process with each section. You may now remove and replace your flag as needed. In the event you are requested to fly your flag at half-staff, remove your flag from the two top snap clips and reinstall your flag on the second set of snap clips just below the top two snap clips. Raise each section of the telescoping flagpole starting with the top, smallest section. When each section is extended, apply upward pressure and twist to the right to lock and secure. Repeat this process with each section until all sections are completely extended. 